What's up everybody, Tiakum here with Zodiac Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you make this center court jelly roll quilt. Let's get started. As always, we're going to dive right on into the cutting instructions, but before we get there, this quilt is jelly roll friendly. It's a super, super easy project to make. What I've got here is the quilt that you see behind me. This is a cotton still line called Mystical. And then for the project that we'll be doing today, we'll be using a Soya yeah exclusive jelly roll. This right here is our Soya yeah exclusive jelly roll. We've got a lot of different colors here, all in the Civil War tones. And what we're gonna do is open up our jelly roll and we're going to randomly select four strips. You wanna make sure they're just not the same color. So in this case, I've got some reds, some blues, some pinks, some whites, all of those. So I wanna get a combination of all of them. I need four strips here. And you're gonna repeat this process for all of your strips. So, got my four strips. I'm gonna put them right sides together, just like so. And we're going to sew all the way down our quarter inch seam. And we'll be using quarter inch for the entire quilt today. So now that I've got this strip sewn, it's time to add on the next strip. Now a little trick here to make sure everything stays straight is to sew in opposite directions. So for in this case, what I did, I'll move these out of the way, is I sewed from top to bottom all the way down. So now I'm going to open this up, add on my next strip here, so I'm going to take this pink strip, I'm going to add it on but I'm going to start sewing it from the opposite direction. This right here will make sure everything stays straight as I'm sewing. And then it also helps when, when you iron this all out. So line everything up. So again, we're gonna repeat the same step here. I'm gonna lay this down, open it up. And I sewed from the bottom side, now I'm gonna sew from the top side here. Lay this down just like so. And we're gonna finish off this strip set. So now that we have our strip set sewn here, and I'll open it up so I can show everyone. Now that we have our strip set sewn together, we're gonna to iron everything completely flat. So I'm gonna do that right now. So now that we've got everything ironed out, there's two ways to start cutting this down. The first way is pull out your 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch square, and, and on all 10 and a half inch squares, there's two markings on it. There's a diagonal point to point, and then there's the marking for 10 to 10. We're gonna be using the 10 to 10 marking here, and we'll start cutting out triangles, just like so, and I'll move it into the camera so you can see it. We'll start on the right side, we'll cut right side, then we'll cut left side, and we'll keep doing this across the board. So let me show you that right now, how you do it with your square here. So I'm gonna lay this down just like this, line up my line on the bottom, Then I'm going to take my rotary cutter, I'm going to cut one there, and what I like to do is move this, separate this out of the way. I like to move it, that way I know I'm always going away from myself here, and it's worked for me very well. So let me just get that line back up. And I cut my second there, which then leaves me with a perfect, I guess this will be a fourth of a square here. And I'll show you what I mean here in just one minute on that. But that right there is a perfect quarter square. The other option is to use a template. 
and you do the exact same thing. You pull out your square, but you cut it out in plastic, like you see here, and then you can use this the, the whole time. It makes it a little bit more easier. And then what we do with our template here is line it up with both the bottom and the edge that I've already cut here, as you can see. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to, or sorry, my rotary cutter, hold this down in place, and then I'm going to cut along that edge. Just like so. Oh, I missed a spot right there. Let me get that. And we're going to repeat this process for all of our strip sets. So I'm, I'm going to show it one more time here. I'm going to turn this around the other direction. And on your, your every other one, you're going to end up with a piece that looks just like this. And I'll show you what I'm seeing here. Which is kind of a remnant. You see here I've got this little bit of excess here. So I'm going to leave that just like so. And we're going to make another cut. Separate that. I can turn it around, it's a little bit easier for me. Line it back up. And keep repeating this process for all of your strip sets, like I said. Once you're done cutting everything out, it's time to sew everything back together. So this is what our triangles look like, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a triangle, I'm going to pull these aside, I'm going to take another triangle, and we're going to match up the long ends like so, and we're going to sew these together to make a block. So put those together, and that is what the block will look like. Now, we need to make four of these and attach them all together. So, I've already gone ahead and made two more of these. And so, I'm gonna put that one like this, and then I'm gonna make up one more to finish off this block. And there is our fourth piece. Now it's time to attach everything together. I'm gonna to put right sides together this way. And you wanna get your seams as close as possible here. Take your time to line them up. Again, iron it open. And then match them the other direction. And again, take your time at this part. Make sure your seams are lining up. Make sure you got everything in its proper place. So then once we open this up, we have our finished block. This is a super easy project to make and then let me show you what the quilt top looks like. Like I said, this is a super fun and fast project to make. All it takes is one jelly roll. So you can hop on soyaquilting.com and grab one right now or pull one from the closet. This quilt right here behind us took us about six hours from start to finish. Super easy project. But if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. As always, we're going to leave instructions on how to make this project down in the description below. My name is Yankum, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Yard Quilting.